to uh, Western Park now. I've never been here before. It's very nice. So today I'm at Camper Jam at Western Park. Um, I originally wanted to come for the weekend, but because I've been so busy and I've got a lot going on, I just uh, just haven't had a chance to do it. So I've come as a day ticket holder. Um, luckily I've managed to get the tickets on the gate because originally I thought it was just pre-book only. So it was a bit of risk actually coming down. But yeah, I could actually yeah, pay for it on the gate, which is brilliant. So I've got in, but it is about half past two now. Um, and it probably is going to be quite quiet today because the football's on, although they are showing the football here, so we'll see. Um, the main reason I wanted to come again is because the Camper Van Live Lounge is here, and you know how much I love the uh, Camper Van Live Lounge at Van Life Festival, so it's going to be great to see those guys again. Um, so let's go and have a look around. The uh, public car park's quite busy. Got this nice old split screen with his tent on the side. That is super cool. Walk into sort of the uh, camping area. Feel like the sea of flags. <laughs> Got a nice American van there. My first time at Camper Jam, I'm surprised how busy it is. Obviously, it's more, I think, uh, VW based more than anything else. There's a lot of uh, VWs here, uh, but uh, it's big, it is big. It all goes on for miles. Yeah, flags down there. I'll try to walk around as much as I can while I'm here. See if I'm getting ready to watch the England match. I've just got the most important thing, my cup of tea. Loads of different food stalls here. I'll show you some more of those later. It's going to quieten down afterwards the uh, football starts, but I'll try and get a bit more. Like right, my first bit of JDM. Got a new Sand Cube. <laughs> Love all these little display items. That's cool. I do love the cube. Love to have one of these next to Ellie. And there you go, like my next to it as well. The vehicles on display and uh, for sale. A lovely T2. It's not too badly priced for a 17 plate camp converted T5. 16,950. Highline. A lovely uh, T2.5. Leisure drive. Nice seats now. Got a leather seats. Yeah, just points out the sticker at the back of them. Not to 60 eventually. Got yeah, this 1970s camper, just a 9,000 miles since it's been rebuilt. 17,000 pound. You can see inside, it's very nice. It's getting a lot of interest. We've got a couple of nice T4s, but this one's a high top. Third one next to it. Little peep. Still that nice. You got the uh, Recaro seats in this, swivel Recaros. You got a Mark IV Golf steering wheel. 6000 Golf GTI Cabriolet. Yeah, BBS wheels. Nice in the Martini livery. An ID bus. Transport an air ride. Slam to the ground. We've got a bar, split screen. It's like a proper club inside. It's like a Chesterfield chair. You've got all the glasses. And all the taps. Drive away bar. It's a nice slammed transporter. Like a Nardo grey kind of colour. Road to four wheels. That nice. Like how it's got like the uh, the round seating area. It's won awards. Rotor format. <laughs> kept very nice. Mark III Golf Cabriolet. Let's do a Beetle. That's on the floor, isn't it? It's Camper Fest bus, high top. Like it's got like a leather protection, the front. 
have an ID bus. This was just a standard van configuration. Nice seats. They're nice inside. There's no savings in having one of these though in the electric. If you watch um, Lindsay's last video from Roman Radford's, he's um, up to York from Milton Keynes. And the one charging station just for a part charge was like £46 uh, on the fast charger. So unless you've got a good rate at home for electric charging, uh, you're not saving any money. But they are cool. I really like these I do, the multi-vans. These are like the new sort of like T7 sort of vans. It's good because you've got this seat positions a bit like Elias where you can swivel it around <coughs> so they face each other. I'm not sure if that would actually fold out flat like Ellie does so you can make sort of a bed out of it. Got a nice like centre console and everything. It's a good size van, these are called the multi-vans. So it didn't mean it just started raining. Really nice interiors. Automatic. It's got your gear selector there. A nice digital dash. It's done 2,052 miles on this one. I like being in Ellie in this. The uh, commercial version of the ID Buzz. As you see, it's uh, just a van in the back. This is how um, the Roman Radfords uh, started. Just a commercial van. And they had it converted from a commercial van into their camper van. That bulkhead sticks out a lot. Oh, and the newer Amarox, nice looking trucks. If you watch Robin Lynn on tour, that's what Robin Lynn have. It's what Rob uses for his business. Very nice interior. It's got like a tes Tesla style screen. Big long screen automatic. It's a very nice looking truck. Whatever's now he's starting to take a turn for the worse. The wind's here, and the rain's starting to come down. Yeah. Got a workshop where you can make stuff out of stone. Just stone carving. Activities you can do. You transport a part if you need a new front bumper. Curtains and wind deflectors. All the bits and bobs. See tons of stands here. I think this is the... Uh, the most stands I've seen in one of these shows, or one of the festivals so far. There's just rows and rows. It'd be like a, a car boot with the amount of stalls that are here. These are reef tents, top of the Volvo. I got one top of the high end die as well. We've got a car for camping. Inverted traffic lights. It's different, isn't it? Upcycled stuff. Old road signs. The man's just leaving, he's got his big horn on this while he's blowing. All the little bugs, probably tow cars. A nice uh, Swift. That one at Stratford. Got a nice Beetle. Still trying to find the camper van live lounge. They're definitely here somewhere. I just can't find them. All of the uh, campers. Say so this is as big, if not bigger, than Van Life Festival Camper Jam. Just tons and tons of vans, lines and lines of transporters. As far as you can see, it's transporters. Did you get this one with the uh, Beetle trailer on the back. You got all the people now getting ready to watch the football. <laughs> Everyone's sort of just uh, trading around this area now. Formula One's on at the moment on the screen. for the best fancy dress. The uh, big tent. Much like Dave Manning's bus. Oh, I think we found the camper van live lounge. Yes, found it. Found amongst the things. So you look for home. I 
And I drink good coffee every morning It comes from a place that's far away And when I'm done it feels like Talking Without you here, there is less to say. And all that smoke and the sign of cold. This level head will leave us all. And now we'll see you sitting in the darkest corner. Set these boys alight So are you, uh, are you ready for uh, who, well, one of what I consider to be the, one of the original, uh, original troubadours doing the, doing, doing the right thing in the right way roaming around and telling, uh, telling the stories spreading good word to people Please put your hands together for Mr. Dave Manning. Woo! Well, that belly tune here, it might be good for uh, good for today. Hope the, the sun's gonna shine in my back door one day. Maybe today, maybe this time. Trouble in my baby I'm blue. You know I won't be blue always. The sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. Dave Manning's bus. He's actually got a bike for him this week. <laughs> it was uh, really good again to see uh, the Camper Fan Live Lounge. They're going to be on again later on tonight, she's having a break now, so I'm just going to get some food. But uh, Tom actually watched my video uh, from the Van Life Festival, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to go get some food now. My phone is from charge, so I'm going to try and get back to my car because I've got to bring my charger with me. So I'm going to just run the engine for a bit and charge my phone off that. Um, I might just go and check the football score on the way down. I'm not really interested in football, but I'll see what uh, score for England is, whether they've scored anything yet or not. I remember the Scooby Doo machine for one of the other shows we went to a few weeks back. And the uh, train stands where it's a bit quieter where the football's on. Got dog treats and toys, all sorts of stuff. Got like dry robe type hats. 
a different merch. So there's loads of trace hunts here this year. Kind of goes around all the different aisles. I think some have actually closed up to go and watch the football. It's gone for miles and this is just like one aisle. It's about three different aisles of uh, trade stands. It's a really big show. Six, the high top. Classic toys are popular stand. All different clothes, a decal. A shop with every single decal you could ever ask for. So I want to be old about the engine, but I'm having an engine tomorrow night, so I'm slightly going to that. Let's see if people watching football. I wonder how many people are here. Pork gyro, never had one before, so I'll give that a try. now so I was gonna head back to the festival I think England's still playing <coughs> last time I checked it was 1-1 I think about to go into uh, penalties I'm guessing because I think it's about to finish the extra time at 1-1 so um, I'm just gonna head down I'll have a quick nose as I walk past there and then uh, I'm gonna go back down to the live lounge and enjoy the entertainment tonight uh, I've got to be a bit careful with this phone because I've got about 50% as I said I haven't got my charge with me and this place is absolutely massive it's such a long walk uh, back from my car to the actual uh, where the festival is taking place. Camping in this area though, this is sort of near the, the day park and it's nice and quiet over here. Just spotted a nice really old pickup truck. Just wanted to get up film. Check out that. That's cool. You had a GMC badge on it. The van behind it. And onto the floor. Drive again. Okay, you did us a favour because that ball that was a cold ball in the Zuba. That had been in front of him until it instead of the side of them. England win trouble. How cool. How confident. Kenji scored against France in the round of 16 three years ago in the penalty shootout they won. He then had his efforts saved against Spain in the quarter final. With the bigger and bigger reputation with every week of his life. The player who seemingly loves the pressure.
Here we go. here to celebrate is awesome good fun sort of heading back now to the music so uh, we've got the camper van live lounge on the main stage now on people they're heading now back down to the stores steady walk back to the camper van live lounge see some stores again as we walk down fashion stores different ones all the flags some of the vans that are staying tonight the campus, nice T2. Nice bus. It's beautiful split screen with the uh, matching caravan on the back. That's a cool combination. I really like that, it's awesome. Bands everywhere here. But guess what I've just spotted? Just as I was panning around here, just, I think I might have spotted an Elmgrand in a nice uh, dark green colour. I haven't seen one in that colour before. That is cool. It's a Series 2 Elgrand. Looks like it's uh, towed the caravan here as well. 25 with the uh, big motor around back in it. Carmen Gyp yeah, Carmen Gypsy. The uh, nice old Beetle as well. T25 with the Dutch post on the side. Got old Land Rover, it's popped up. Converted to a camper.
Right now for the uh, camp van live lounge, so I'm just gonna go and head down to the main stage, see what's going on down there. Um, if this looks different, I want a different camera for a little bit because we've a uh, one for our battery, so I'm gonna head down to the live stage now, see what's going on down there. Just watch the camper jam share, we haven't got pictures today. The garden bar all lit up, see all the fair lit up. Pretty big chance I'm gonna get a copyright strike on this video. Can't help it, it's music everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
Stop me wondering where you are and don't let go. Keep on no, 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 Look no, no, into no. the distance, there's a house upon a hill. Guiding like a lighthouse to a place where you'll be safe to feel the grace. We all make mistakes, you lost your way. Crisp and rich, I hear summers just as great. Where music flows from bars before sunset, just to ask as your day salute. Are you ready to lose your way? Rolls on the t- 
eyes on them, we brushed it together. Joseph Lofthouse. <laughs> Liam Hannigan. <laughs> Mr. Josh Cleaves. You've also been listening to Doge Music, Run Remedy, and Chloe Ann Cleaves. Thank you very much for oh, Mr. Dave Manning as well. I'm forgetting Mr. Dave Manning. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here at the Camper Van Live Lounge. We will be live again tomorrow. Uh, new what another epic camp van live lounge. Well done to Tom and all the team again. So, uh, heading back to the car now. Hopefully I haven't been locked in. Because as I said, I'm on a day pass and it is now like about half past midnight. Um, so I'm just really praying that uh, the gates haven't been locked because I'm in the Aigo and I don't fancy sleeping in the Aigo tonight. Everything's sort of closing down now and everyone's gone back to their van. So I'm hoping I can still get into the uh, day parking area. Actually, uh, panicking a bit then because as you see, it's actually pitch black and uh, I'm the only car left in the day parking. <laughs> and I uh, was looking around everywhere for it and I couldn't find it, so I was constantly uh, pressing my key. Yeah, I was just constantly pressing the key to hopefully see uh, the light uh, flashing off the indicators, but uh, I think I found it. There he is, all on his own. <laughs> Luckily, I found it. I thought I was going to be sleeping on the field for a bit then. <laughs> I, I, God, I, mean, I did start panicking a little bit. I just looked everywhere for uh, for the day parking area. And all I was like, just amongst all the um, camper vans and caravans that are camping tonight. Uh, everyone's pretty drunk now. And uh, obviously, I'm pretty much the only car left in the uh, day field. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty hard to find.